Twelve marine ambulances have been launched by President Museveni to transport islanders with complicated illnesses. Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, said investment in emergency medical services is vital and the marine ambulances will reduce on the number of deaths. The national ambulance system, which includes the ambulance service, will remain coordinated regionally even when they are placed at these docking sites. Government's plan is to acquire 20 boat ambulances to cover all the large waters of Lake Victoria, Lake Kyoga, Lake Albert, Lake Bunyonyi, River Nile, and Lake Edward and George. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, Dr. Diana Twini, says the high advanced ambulances, specifically for accidents and emergencies, since they are moving intensive care units on water. Dr. Twine expressed concern over the continuous misuse of water ambulances with fear of engines being stolen. She says the ambulances are high consumers of fuel and to have full-time operation on water will require full investment to have them fully functional. Actually, from here to Kalangala, one boat consumes 200 liters of fuel. And so to, to have full-time operations on, 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 the, on, on the water, it will require quite um, good investment to make sure that we, we have them fully functional. The districts, as you have heard, we are deploying these, these um, boats in Kalangala, Buvuma, Amorata, Jinja, Mayuge, Mukono, Namayingo, Serele, Kumi, Bulisa, Ntoroko, Obongi, and Kabale. President Yorim Seveni, however, urged resident district commissioners and district chairpersons to safeguard the marine boat ambulances and also ensure that they are manned by professionals. The president recommended for training of marine engineers in high institutions of learning, with Busoga University taking the lead. Now, the other time, when, when I was launching the, the ferry, from Rwampanga to Namasare, Amoratal. I asked these people who were operating the ferry, who trained you? These were Katwe boys from Katwe, and they had been quickly trained by the supplier of the ferry. That's not a good way. So that's why when I came back, I insisted that one of the universities must teach marine engineering and services. And I gave that task to Busoga University because they have got a campus at Namasagari near the River Nile. They can easily set up that capacity. Dr. Charles Ayume who chairs the Parliamentary Committee on Health, highlighted the importance of having marine ambulances. For emergency situations are unknown. Top on the list is accidents. In 2020, we had over 12,000 accidents, and uh, over 3,000 were fatal. The next is emergency obstetric care, cardiovascular emergencies like the heart attack, and then stroke. As a chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Health, these are love hanging fruits that we can mitigate so that we are able to reduce the costs of amb ambulatory services, which are astronomical. The permanent secretary told you from here to Kalangala and back is about 200 liters. I have witnessed that on a boat, and that is very costly. The cheaper option, Your Excellency and colleagues, is ensuring we develop legislation and policies that can mitigate some of these risk factors. Zahara Abigaba, Sudet Kaye, UBC News.